Our first presenter today is Ellie Juarez from Oregon Health and Science University from the Molecular and Medical Genetics Program, and her presentation is How Cells Remodel After DNA Damage. Good afternoon, and thank you all for coming. My work is focused on looking at DNA damage and DNA damaging agents. Our cells are constantly being exposed to DNA damaging agents. There is a slew of environmental insults that cause damage to our DNA and can lead to mutations. Luckily, most of us in this room have intact DNA repair pathways, which can not only find the DNA, but also repair it. And our cells in our body actually have a lot of DNA, and it's so compact that if you were to take all the DNA and all the cells in your body and stretch it all along, it would be one trillion meters long. That means that every single person in this room has enough DNA to stretch from here to the sun and back 300 times. So that's a lot of DNA. So to compact the DNA that far, it's wrapped around these giant spool-like proteins, creating the structure called chromatin. So you can kind of think of DNA like a garden hose wrapped around a reel. And that allows us to put the garden hose away in a compact area. But if you need to use it, it needs to be unreeled. If you need to fix a leak or a damage, same thing needs to happen. The same thing happens for DNA. It needs to be unwound. So the proteins that are in charge in our cells of doing these are called chromatin remodelers. They open up DNA. They allow DNA repair proteins to get in and fix the damage. Interestingly though, in about 19% of cancers, these proteins are mutated and no longer work. And so you can imagine, through time, through age, through environmental toxins, we get exposed to more and more mutations and they accumulate. My hypothesis is, is that as these mutations accumulate and we can't get efficient repair because DNA repair proteins cannot get in, we get an onset of not only cancer, but also a progression of the cancer that worsens over time. My work is interested in finding therapeutic agents that can, not, can restore the function of these proteins in cancer. And by doing so, we should be able to find a new outcome for the 1.6 million new patients that are diagnosed each year. Thank you.